Hello everyone, this is Big Daddy channel again. Today we're going to talk about losing weight, of course. This is a channel for overweight people. The purpose of the channel is losing weight together. Okay, I'm overweight, I'm a French, I'm an American football player, a former American football player, and we try together to lose weight. So I go on the net, I find solutions, and we share all my tricks and tips to lose weight together so uh, this is perfect because losing weight you know alone is uh it's, uh it's pretty tough and being a community being a group of people you know you can be young you can be old doesn't matter you're overweight or you have only maybe just 20 pounds you know to lose come on board and uh, we do it together and it's gonna be fun so today so the subject of the day is how to lose weight fast in 2021 and they have very good solutions for us we we're very fortunate to be in 2021 actually for losing weight because we have a lot of tools very simple ones and we don't have to exercise like crazy uh we don't have to eat you know uh bad food with no fat inside not tasty you know uh, we don't have to sacrifice ourselves. So uh, I'm very happy to, to open this new channel and that you uh, jump on board. So I'm going to give you my advices for 2021 to lose weight fast and uh, with no pain. On this channel, we practice keto diet and we use it with uh, 20 grams of sugar, which is very, very uh, effective and it's very pleasant. We don't lose weight super fast, but we do lose weight every day, just a little bit. And we don't have any frustrations because we have 20 grams of sugar per day, which is which allows you to eat uh, an apple, for example. And if you exercise, besides, I mean, you're going to lose weight much faster. Stay on keto diets when you break up your fasting, okay? On this channel, we do fast 16 hours, 24 hours, 36 hours. We, we practice the dry fasting or the regular one. The regular one, uh, I mean, it's very easy. You eat, you don't eat and you drink only coffee, tea or water. And for 24 hours, for 16 hours, for 36 hours, some people do 48 hours and more. So they have better results, of course. And uh, I do like the dry one because dry fasting for 24 hours is like when you do fast for three days with the regular fasting. So you're, you're dry fasting for 24 hours and the results are equal of three days of regular fasting with coffee, tea, water. So I dry fast, okay? So when you do your exercise, you don't break up your fasting with regular food. You stay on keto. Because when you practice keto, your insulin doesn't rise up when you eat. When you stay on keto after your exercises, the burning machine that you became stills on, okay? So you don't, your insulin doesn't rise up and you don't stock fat. So it's just fantastic. So it was my, it's my first tip. Okay. After exercises, you stay on keto, never go on sugar right away. Okay. So that was the first tip. Number two, try to stay on fast, uh, even longer. Okay, not just 16 hours. Try to hit 20 hours, 24 hours, 36 hours of fast. Okay, even if you do some uh, fitness, you know, uh, or little running or cycling, try to stay on fast longer. Try to stay, try to stay on fast longer this way, and your results is gonna, uh, are gonna be fantastic. Number three, of course, working out when you fast will increase your fat burning process okay so this is what i recommend you do fast and you do your fitness while you fast and if you can eat only once a day one time each day is going to be even better okay so i'm I wait i'm waiting for your comments uh what do you think about uh, my tricks my proposals uh, do your own experience of course do that with uh 
uh, you ask your doctor before fasting or before you know going on on keto diet, and then you uh, you jump on it and you try to fast. While you fast, you you do your workout, and after your workout, you try to skip. You stay on on fast actually for more hour for two, four, six more hours, and then you uh, you eat keto diet. Okay, by doing so, you will stay all run on target. Your insulin is not going to rise up, and you are not going to stock fat again. So this is the purpose, you know, of this video. I have another tip for you also. Try to when you do your fitness, try to put more weight, you know, on your dumbbells. You know, like if you're a woman, you start at uh, four pounds. When you're a boy, you start at maybe 10 pounds. And after two weeks or three weeks, uh, uh, you work, with, if you're a woman, you work with 10 pounds. And if you're a man, you work with 20 pounds, okay, when you do your workout. Uh, then you're going to burn much more fat while you're exercising. You know, this is a great tool. Only all the pros do that. So we are not pros. Not pros no more. <laughs> We're not pros, but uh, we use her, their tips, and uh, it's very efficient. So I don't know why we're not going to lose it to use them. So I repeat: to lose more weight faster, try to stay on keto diet. When you do fast, you fast a very long period of time, not just sixteen hours. Try to do twenty hours, twenty-four hours, thirty-six hours of fasting. And when you do your fitness, try to do the, your fitness when you do fast in the same time, okay? And don't break up your fast right after your exercises. You stay on the fast fast mode, and after two hours, four hours, six hours, then you break up your fast with keto diet. This is the key. And this is very, very efficient. I see I have some results from people doing that. At the beginning, I said to myself, it is uh, pretty tough to do. You know, even myself, I was like, uh-oh, pretty tough. But we're very lucky, very fortunate, because with keto diets, when you really do keto diets the right way, not more than 20 grams per day of sugar, when you do this, you don't feel those cravings no more. So it's very easy for us to fast, you know. Nowadays, for me, I, I fast 24 hours like this, you know. I have just one meal per day, and I eat, my window is just one hour of eating keto diet food. And after that, you know, I make my life. You know, I work, I work a lot. I go to work, you know, with some friends. Uh, I play with my kids. Uh, you know, uh, I got with my wife for a walk. Uh, after that, there's life. So, uh, being sticking around your kitchen all the time is not good for us. And with keto diets, you don't have those hungers no more. So, this is the perfect tool for us to use keto diets and to fast in the same time. We do that and we will, we will succeed, you know, very rapidly. My objective, like I said in the former videos, uh, are very, uh, very little. Like I want to lose four pounds, then when I succeed, it's a victory. So it's, I'm very happy. So four pounds after four pounds after four pounds, and all of a sudden I, I lost uh, 34 pounds within more than one month, one month and uh, 12 days, and I'm very happy about it. Okay, but I go step by step and I encourage you to do the same. Don't say to yourself, I'm going to lose 200 pounds, you know, right away, because this is so far away. Try to, to do little objectives. Okay, and when you succeed, it's like a fiesta for you. Okay, you're very happy. So this is my suggestions. So this was my advices for the day. Uh, I hope that you uh, enjoy the show. And uh, thank you very much for uh, subscribing. You like the video, you follow me, you jump on board. Together we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. And I tell you one thing, my friends, we're gonna succeed, okay? We're very motivated and uh, nothing's going to stop us. So uh, go for it, uh, have a great evening and uh, do your fasting, do your keto, I have a fantastic product in my description. 
for keto diets. This is the best on the market, period. So I uh, suggest that you take it, only 39 bucks, and you have the perfect product, keto program to lose weight fast with the trainings and everything inside it. Everything is included, so it's just perfect. Thank you so much, and I see you tomorrow. Have a great evening. Decide, commit, act, succeed, repeat. If you want to be an impactful personality, you have to develop certain types of thinking and perceptions that change the way you see yourself and see the world. No matter what you want to do in life, no matter what your ambition is, uh, that your dreams can come true if you persevere, if you work hard, um, and if you realize that what you might think is impossible is possible in today's world. Well, you have to keep yourself focused on whatever your ultimate goal is. There's, stumble, there's stumbling blocks all the way. People get laid off, you have a bad game, you get traded from a team that you uh, don't want to be with. But if your goal and your focus remains the same, that hey, this is going to happen, and I know I have the skills and I have the knowledge and I have the instincts to dig myself out of this hole, you will dig yourself out of the hole. You have to control the situation. Don't let the situation control you. Your life is what you think it should be. That's exactly what you are right now. You are what you thought you should be. And if you don't like who you are, you got to change what you think you should be. What you think is more important than what you do. And so if you want to change, you got to work on this attitude bit. When you take on a massive change, whether it's trying to diet after a lifetime of being overweight, or maybe running your first race after a lifetime of never ever exercising, or maybe it's starting to date again after you lost your spouse to cancer, when you confront something that's gonna require you to change your behavior, you basically come face to face with the gap between who you are right now and the future person you wanna be. So you need to foster the belief in what you are dreaming so that it becomes a reality, which is very different than saying, I don't expect anybody to believe it until I see it. You need people to believe it before they can see it. Here is how you can assure yourself to enjoy yourself during the process of whatever it is you're trying to achieve. I want you to get this because it starts as soon as you open up your eyes in the morning or whenever it is that you start the day. As soon as you open up your eyes to greet the day, you enter into consciousness. It is at that moment that your creativity is at its most powerful. Right there and then, you have an opportunity to steer your thoughts and your emotions in the direction that you want them to go, not in the direction that they're telling you to go. In other words, you can literally choose to seize the day or you can let the day seize you. Nothing works the first time. When you try something new, it probably won't work. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Every time you lose at something, you're one step closer to winning the next time. The difference between successful people and not successful people, okay. let's call it that sure. way, are people give up. People wake up every morning, they have doubt, they have fear, they lose in a Ferrari race or they lose in a race, and then they just give up. The, the, the hardest thing in life to learn is to lose. Winning's easy. You win, you're happy, you get a high five, your friends are happy. It's your ability to take a loss, get up the next day, dust yourself off, and keep going.
This isn't about playing basketball like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade. There's guys in the NBA that never gonna play basketball like them. This is about being able to think like a champion. Know what goes on in their heads. Understand how you can relate it to your business and whatever you do to take yourself to the next level. Remember, the mind controls a body. The body does not control the mind. What makes these guys special and successful in everything they do is not their physical gifts, it's their mental toughness. They have the ability not to think what everyone else is thinking. So what I want you to do, as soon as you open up your eyes to start the day, is to immediately start focusing on something or someone that you are totally grateful for in your life. I don't care what it is or who it is, but I want you to feel it with your heart and soul. Your only goal, as soon as you open up your eyes, is to be to make yourself feel good and to give yourself enough confidence to get through the day. Don't worry about what needs to be done. Think about who you have to be in order to get it done. I believe the emotions that many of us consider negative, like frustration and rejection and pain, can be our greatest friends because they can drive us to success. You know what? I think one of the things that happens for a lot of people when they get successful is they get superstitious. It's like they work so hard for the success and they now finally have it, so all of a sudden they don't change, they don't vary their behavior, they kind of like want to stay the way things are. They get incredibly conservative and they miss out on the juice of life. Stay out of the trap. Listen, when people succeed, they tend to party. When they fail, they tend to ponder. Now the pondering, many times we create our greatest successes in life. Just remember, it's impossible to fail. If you try something and it doesn't work, just try something else and learn something from what you just did. As long as you learn something, you've succeeded. Start with something small if you want and then build. But right now, write down two decisions you've made and then take action on them immediately. I mean right now. I mean even before I finish talking here. Stop the tape, pick up the phone and make that call you've been waiting for. Do not put it off another minute. I don't care what it takes, there's power and momentum. I'm a big believer that once you set a goal, once you make a decision, you should immediately, in that moment, do something to start making progress towards it. That way you can't cop out later on or get caught up or lose your momentum. So please do it now. And I know not all things can be done right now, so maybe it's something you have to do tomorrow morning. But whatever you're going to do, make the decision and then commit to follow through and then check in tomorrow. Because this is the first step to grabbing your personal power. Remember this. So you got to get out there. You got to give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your, your, your talent, your prayers, or your treasures.